and welcome back to my channel. So today we are playing some cooking simulator. Not just regular old cooking simulator though, no, no, no. We are playing the Cakes and Cookies DLC, which I've actually spent a little bit of time in already, but there apparently has been an update. And uh, they fixed some things, because let's just say, let's just say that, you know, I had some issues with it before. You know, sometimes you would make a pie, and a pie just would not look like a goddamn pie. I should probably stop talking about pie and, and just play the game. So, well, let's go ahead and actually uh, get into the game. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. Uh, so, first thing we're gonna do, gonna pull up my phone. We're gonna find a recipe, and we're gonna do a pie. Let me see. So we can do a blueberry pie. Let me see. I know there are other types of pies. We can do a cherry pie. I think we're just gonna go with the classic blueberry pie. You know, real simple, real good. You know, it should be fairly simple to make. And you know, it, I hope, I f hope the pie just looks like a pie. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna lose my mind. But anyways, let's, let's make a pie. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get 300 grams of pastry flour and 100 grams of butter and pop it in a kneading bowl. A kneading bowl is this thing here. Um, let's take it over here. How do I use it? I click it, that would make sense. You click something to use it. Okay, it, you know, it's a little more than 300, but it's fine. Uh, we need 100 grams of butter. Oh, we need to cut that in half. That is too much butter. Boop. Um, that's half the thing, right? That should be. I don't know. I don't care. We're gonna go with it. We're going to need this. Let's pop that on. Oh, it's so loud. You know, I don't know what, what that really did. Uh, okay, next we're going to add to the same bowl 100 milliliters of water and 5 grams of salt. Uh, let's go ahead and get a bowl. Where are the bowls? There's a bowl. Uh, we're gonna fill this with 100 milliliters of water and we're gonna pop that in there. Okay, 120, close enough. You know, we don't have to be perfect. You know, nobody's perfect. Our recipe doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna take that. No, we knock stuff over. Oh well. It is what it is. Um, we're gonna do five. And then I think we just mix it again. Pop, pop, pop. And we're gonna mix it. Oh my god, it's so loud. Whoa, it didn't make dust that time. Soup. Something went wrong. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to make dough. They updated the game, but they might have broken the game in the update, because that was, this isn't supposed to happen. Oh, I used the wrong attachment. Oh, this is my fault. There we go, now we're talking. Okay, there we go, now we have pie crust. Look at that, we have a nice little ball of pie crust. Beautiful. Okay, now we have to make the filling of the pie. So we need 100 grams of blueberries and 100 grams of sugar. So we're gonna go ahead uh, and put all that in this other bowl. Also, let me just say, 100 grams of blueberries, I feel like maybe not enough to make a whole pie. You know, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you. So yeah, 100 grams of blueberries. We have blueberries right here. I'm gonna pop that under. 100 grams. Let's get 100 grams out, right? 104 grams of blueberries. You think this is enough blueberries to make a goddamn pie with? In what world is this enough blueberries to make a goddamn pie with? In what world? I'm just curious, you know? I'm just curious. I just want to know. Okay, uh, we also need 100 grams of granulated sugar, so let's go ahead. Uh, I believe we have granulated sugar over here. Yeah, right there. 100 grams. Okay, we're gonna pop this on there, and then it needed the whisk attachment. Um, I'm really, really curious to see what this is gonna look like, because every other time I've played this game and tried to make a blueberry pie, it, this part right here, the pie filling comes out looking like, like blue dough. Just blue dough. It's not a good look. And that's, that's what it is. It's, it's blue dough. So we're also going to add some more ingredients to this. We're going to add some lemon juice, some starch, and ground cinnamon. Uh, you know, I don't think I've ever made a blueberry pie before. Uh, but you know, do you add, do you add cinnamon to a blueberry pie? I've never heard of, of that. Maybe that's common. I really don't know. Sounds strange though. 15 milliliters of lemon juice. Let's go ahead and pour it in. Oh, we're going to be real careful. There we go. Well, that was 18 of lemon juice, but oh, 19 of lemon juice. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, next we want starch. Let's grab the starch. How much did we need of that? We needed 20 grams of starch. 
Beautiful, 20 grams of starch. And then we also needed cinnamon. So two grams of cinnamon. Where's the cinnamon? There we are. One, two, beautiful. And then I think we just mix this again. Yeah, we just mix it again using the whisk. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll actually look like filling now or maybe it'll continue to be a blue ball of dough. But I, I guess there's only one way to find out. You know, no, it still looks like blue dough, although it looks less blue now. Uh, anyways, now we just have to put it into a pie crust uh, in a round cake pan and the blueberry filling into the same cake pan. Um, this part gets a little confusing because they don't really tell you how much to put in of, of uh, both. They're just kind of like, yeah, go for it. I'm gonna do one layer of pie crust do i do one layer of filling or multiple like i can add another layer but i don't know what i'm supposed to do am i supposed to just fill it up all the way with filling or am i am, am i supposed to make multiple pies with this fuck it let's just do that uh let's see let's pop that in an oven pop that in so this will take three minutes at 160 degrees celsius so we can set that right here beautiful and now we're gonna close it and it's gonna bake can i make a star shaped pie uh, I want to make another pie with my leftover filling, but I don't have another circle cake pan, so maybe I'm just gonna make a star pie, and we'll see how that turns out, you know? Maybe it'll be a horrible failure, but maybe it'll be really cool. We're gonna do one layer of pie crust, and fuck it, I'm gonna put the rest of the dough in there, because I don't know what else the fuck to do with it. Yeah, we'll pop this in the oven too. This one should take a little bit longer to bake. Yeah, so 170 for 320. Beautiful. Okay, now we have two pies going. This one has, it has two minutes left, so now we have to wait. Oh my god, the pie is ready. Moment of truth. So, I will say it has updated. It looks better than it used to, still doesn't look great. I did not put crust on the top of this pie. I will say, I like that I can actually see the filling. Literally before when I would make a pie, it, it just looked like a sad cake. This time, you know, there's clearly filling in there. I don't know how crust got on, got on the top, but I mean, I guess it's a pie. It's a horrifically thin pie, but that's definitely my fault. I did not put enough stuff in it. That's, it's entirely my fault. Um, we're just gonna put that for sale and see what happens. Uh, we still have this pie though. It's time, see, this one has a, 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 a layer on the top too. Didn't do that. Okay, this one looks better. The, the crust on top, it's really fucking thick. However, you know, overall, I think it's a better pie. It's not a perfect pie, but it's a better pie and I'll, I'll take it, I'll accept it. Let's go ahead and sell that one too. So now we know pies actually look like pies, kind of. It's better than it was, I'll take it. It's not perfect, but I'll take it. Let's try something else too that I feel like didn't look like it looked before. Uh, so we have a European cheesecake, is that the, or we have New York cheesecake and it's already unlocked. Um, so maybe we'll go ahead and make a New York cheesecake and see if it actually looks like a cheesecake. I, I really hope it looks like a fucking cheesecake. Uh, let's go ahead. So the first thing you have to do is we have to melt, uh, 200 grams of butter for 60 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. Boop. Boop. Let's get that all melty. Uh, we need to add, uh, biscuit crumbs, caster sugar, and melted mixture, which is the butter. Uh, are these biscuit crumbs? They are. We need 200 grams of this. So we'll pop 200 grams of this into here. Uh, we're gonna pop this butter in there. Uh, and then we're gonna get this, uh, beat up with the whisk. Pop this in here. Get the fuck out of here. So, I don't think that went... Is, uh, is that what it's supposed to look like? No, this is supposed to be a pie crust. Let's try a different attachment. Let's try the paddle attachment. There we go. Dough. Now I have dough, okay. I, I have to assume that's what I was supposed to do. Uh, next, we're gonna make the filling. So we need uh, a block of cream cheese and we're gonna mix it with the paddle. Is anything gonna happen? Oh! blend. Add to the same kneading machine bowl, we're gonna take some salt, cake flour, and granulated sugar. Flour and granulated sugar. So let's just pop it all right in here because, you know, what's life without some risks? Uh, okay, and then we're gonna need to mix using the paddle attachment once again. 
dough. It doesn't know it's cheesecake dough. I mean, I guess I'm not done yet. And then we're gonna mix it using the paddle one more time. Okay, now, does it know what type of dough it's supposed to be? No, it's just dough. It's just dough. Oh, add to the same kneading machine bowl an egg and sour cream. Uh, and then we're going to mix it again using the paddle attachment. The floor is covered in eggshells. Okay. So, does it know it's cheesecake? <gasps> it knows it's cheesecake filling now! Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so now we're going to transfer the crust into an oblong cake pan. Oblong cake pan? Aren't cheesecakes usually round? I'm gonna do round cheesecake because I don't trust them. So, I'm gonna do, oh no, give me the dough. Give me the dough. I'm gonna do one layer of crust and then I'm just gonna fill it the fuck up. Okay, oh my god, it's gonna take five minutes to cook. Okay, we're gonna pop that in there. It needs to be cooked at 150 degrees. If this doesn't come out looking like an actual goddamn cheesecake, I may lose my mind. <gasps> Our cheesecake is done. Our cheesecake is done. I think something went wrong. Something went wrong here. I I guess I burnt it. It doesn't even know what it is anymore. Now it's just saying it's homemade. It d doesn't even know it was a cheesecake. I'm still gonna sell it. Fuck it. That's so sad. I thought, did I just not set the timer right? I don't know what happened. I must have just not set the timer right. Uh, okay, well, there we have it. We have everything we made today. You know, we have our extremely flat blueberry pie. We have our star blueberry pie that's a little bit thicker. We have our really, really, really sad, burnt, extremely fucking burnt cheesecake. I don't understand. It doesn't even recognize that it's supposed to be a cheesecake anymore. But yeah, okay, it's time to end the day and we'll see if people buy my baked goods. Now's the moment of truth. And now we're just back in our bakery to make more stuff and do whatever we want. Um, I think this game is a lot of fun. I'm really glad that they did make some of the updates they did as like the icing container. Uh, I'm really glad that they updated the looks of some of the food. The pies, you know, I don't think the pies look perfect, but I think, I, I think they look a lot better than they used to for sure. Um, there's a lot of other items as well that I would be really interested to see. Like the tiramisu. I made tiramisu one time on my own and oh, it just looks like a sad cake. Uh, so that would definitely be something I'm interested to try making at some point on my own. Uh, and yeah, just a lot of these stuff. I don't know. I'm curious at the very least uh, to see what they actually look like. Uh, but not today. You know, maybe we'll save that for another day. Maybe we'll hop into more cakes and cookies another time. Maybe we'll actually try to decorate some more cakes. You know, we didn't do a whole lot of decorating today. But hey, you know, we can we can try another time maybe. Maybe we can see about the most ridiculous cake we can possibly make. I don't know. We'll have to give it a go and see what we can do. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, everyone. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. I will see you later.